if ABC Incorporated desires that any of their capital investments earn an annual rate of return of at least 15%, then what is the most that they should be willing to pay uh, for an investment in, in a product that will generate the following cash flows over the next five years. These cash flows are in uh, millions of dollars. Well, if we add them up together, that's about $89.3 million of cash coming in. Except that when we look at it, $27 million two years from now is not the same as $27 million today. If I take the present value of each of these cash flows, then I'll have a better idea of what the present value is today of all these future cash flows. Well, I could do this manually. I could take the cash flow and divide it by 1 plus the 15% interest rate raised to the number of years until they get it. So that $35.7 million that you're going to receive a year from now would be worth 35 or $31 million and change today. Now the reason is that if I had $31 million today, that's the present value, and then I added up the interest I earned on it, the interest here or the yield or the rate of return being 15%, then if I started with $31 million today and I earned 15% on that money over the, net co uh, over the course of the year, then sometime in the future I would have 35.7 million dollars. So between the 31 million I start with today and the 4.7 million dollars I earn at 15 percent on this investment, that would give me 35.7 million dollars a year from now. So if I can earn 15 percent on any of my investments, then investing in this one uh, would yield me $31 million a year from now. If I look at the $27.5 million that I'm expected to get two years from now, that'd be the same as $20.8 million today. So that if I earn some interest, earn 15% the first year and then 15% on that the second year. Then the grand total of the interest I'd earn over the two year period would be 6.7 and that'd come up to 27.5 two years from now. So if today I started with 20.8 and then I earned some interest over the next two years and it ended up with 27.5, then I'd be indifferent. So I don't care whether I have $20.8 million today or $27.5 million two years from now as long as I can earn the interest. If I did this calculation for each of these, then if I started with $67.6 million today and it was earning 15% interest per year, it would earn 21.7% or $21.7 million over the next five years and the grand total would be 89.3, okay? So when we're looking at the present value, what we're really trying to come up with is how much all this money is in today's dollars, all right? I know that it'll come up with $89 million in the future. What's that in today's dollars? Now, you sh I showed you doing the calculations 
I take in 1 plus the rate of return, raise the number of years, I can actually solve for each of these and add them together. And that gives me the present value of 67.6. .6. Here's a built-in Excel function called the NPV function. Equals NPV, open parentheses, put in the rate of return you have to earn, comma, and then highlight all the dollar values that you're going to get. And it'll do the same calculation. So you could actually do all these calculations one at a time and then add them together with the NPV function and the, the format for that for this particular problem would be equals NPV open parents 15 percent that's my rate of return and then the cash flows are in cell B7 to B11 here all right it just does the same thing in a fairly quick manner so what this actually means is that if I paid 67.6 .6 million dollars for these and actually realize these cash flows I'd be earning 15 percent and we could actually calculate that by putting the time element in here and calculating the internal rate of return So what that means is if I took 67.6 million out of my pocket today and added these cash flows back in over time, the IRR of that, the IRR, the internal rate of return, is the annualized rate that I'm actually earning means I'd earn 15% on it, okay? So the most I should be willing to pay would be 67.6 .6 million. If I paid more than 67.6 .6 million for the same set of cash flows, let's say I paid 70 million, then I'd only be earning 13%. By the same token, if I was able to buy this for less, let's say I could invest only $50 million on this product, then I'd be making more than 15% and that'd be good. So NPV and IRR are two methods that we use to evaluate investments.